Hey, what is up, everyone? Semi Cruz here, back at you with another epic video. So I was here on ScreenRant.com, and I came across this article, which was posted two hours ago by Alex Santa Maria. Uh, Silent Hills for PS5 confirmed by God of War Ragnarok Lika. Ooh, yes! Another uh, video, you know, you know, more rumors about Silent Hills on the PS5. Uh, let's get into it. So a credit the leaker has teased that Hidekadima Silent Hills may be back on track as a PS5 exclusive helm by its original creative team. I mean, that, uh, I've been talking about this for a while, but uh, it makes sense when you think about it. You know, you know, building a game from the ground up is expensive. But what do you think a game that was canceled at, say, 50-60% completion, right? It's cheaper, obviously, to just go from there. So anyway, it's a so far reliable leaker of the PS5 like God of War right now games to try again, hinting that Silent Hills may be on its way after all in some form. The horror game was originally said to be a project by famed Metal Gear Solid creator Hideo Kojima in conjunction with filmmaker Guillermo del Toro and uh, Norma Reedus. This was confirmed thanks to the PS4's PT, a playable teacher of the game, that was released during E3 2014 to critical acclaim and high player expectations. The project was thought to have fallen apart after Kojima's high-profile departure with Konami. Uh-huh, and then, but it seems the company is finally moving forward with multiple blockbusters based on his work. The, the same man who knew about God of War right now before its reveal has also promised that a Metal Gear Solid remake is coming. Yeah, I heard about that. Allegedly coming from Demon Souls Blue, uh, Blue Point Games. After Konami's pitiful attempt... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, talk about uh, Metal Gear Survive here. Yeah, enough said right there. Metal Gear Survive. Let's just uh, move on. The same game leaked out by YouTuber Moore's Law is Dead. During a recent podcast is Silent Hills, a game that he alleges is almost entirely confirmed. He claims that Konami and Hidekajima are able to come to an agreement that would allow the game maker to continue the work he started before leaving the publisher. That would be a huge and completely unprecedented move, as Konami famously booted Kojima from the company in a distasteful fashion, and Kojima has since denied any involvement in the Metal Gear and Silent Hill franchises. That is correct, I did a video about that, I believe. Uh, there's one further detail about the game that could let players know when they'll be seeing more, as some might expect given the history between Kojima and, and Geoff Kaylee. The announcement of Silent Hills could be one of the big reveals of this year's Game Awards. Uh, Kay Lee was outspoken about uh, Konami's treatment of Kojima, using his Game Awards platform to condemn the publisher. Therefore, it could be a big PR move to have Konami make a splash on that very stage while working with Oliver. They previously public, uh, publicly mistreated. And then here they kind of talk about... Uh, they talk about something else here. You know, Sony being arrogant or something about the PS5. I, I don't... I really don't know what the hell this is about. Um, I got no clue. But anyway, um, I mean, this sounds interesting, and it kind of makes sense because there have been rumors of something in regards to Silent Hill for the PS5 for, I want to say, a good year now, you know? And we also got rumors of a new Silent Hill movie coming out as well. Um, I think, you know, this has been one of my theories for a while. I think that this is what they're doing. Silent Hills, when it got canceled, I mean, who knows, you know, how far along the development it was. It could have been maybe, you know, 40%. Maybe 50%, hell, 60%, who knows? But I think, you know, if they're just finishing up Silent Hills, I think this way it's cheaper, it's doable, and they can crank it out faster. So I think that's what's going on here. I think that definitely, you know, Silent Hills, you know, they are going to finish it. You know, I think that, uh, now the question is, um, when is this exactly coming out? I mean, I'm guessing uh, it could be 2021, could be 2022, who knows? But, uh, I mean, this guy leaked them. And apparently he was right on so many other leaks. I think so. I think that uh, this is coming. And I know it's true. I think, well, I mean, you know, I got to say, you know, I, I I think it's true because, you know, um, the guy that directed the first uh, Silent Hill movie, um, what was his name? Uh, yeah, Christoph Gans. Um, he was talking about how basically um, he is working on a Silent Hill movie for Konami that's apparently going to be going to theaters. Now, let's think about this for a second. A Silent Hill movie... When we haven't had a Silent Hill game in, in, in what, a decade now? Um, yeah, that don't make no sense, right? I think what they're going to do is they're going to release the Silent Hills game. And then, basically, they're going to have the movie as a tie-in or vice versa. So, I think that's what's going on here. What do you guys think? 
Uh, let me know in the comment section because I'm really curious about this uh, Silent Hills. I do think it's coming. I do think this is happening. It's been confirmed. Well, you know, it's been leaked by the same guy like, that leaked God of Ragnarok. So I'm thinking, you know, I think that uh, it's going to happen. And we've been hearing rumors about this for, you know, uh, what, two years now? Maybe a year now? Maybe a year and a half? Who knows? I think this is this was coming. It's cheaper. It's faster. I think this was coming. And it's going to tie in with the Silent Hill movie that Christopher Gunn says he's, he'd make it. All right? So what do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section. And also, don't forget to comment and subscribe for more videos like this one. And I'll see you guys soon with another one. Later.